So if you've been following the agentic AI space and frameworks to build AI agents, you have probably heard of ADK, which is Google's Agent Development Kit. In a nutshell, ADK is a code-first framework designed to build robust multi-agent systems. It's not just for simple chatbots, it's actually built for modular, production-ready agents that can handle complex workflows and coordinate with each other. Now, when you start building with ADK, it comes with this development UI or ADK web. Now, this interface is fantastic for developers in the development environment. It lets you test your agents, debug traces, and evaluate performance locally. But here is the challenge. You cannot send this to your users. You cannot ask a client to spin up a local host server just to use your agent. Real scenarios require real interfaces. You want something like this, right? This is a complete custom UI which I built in order to showcase all of the different agents that I've built using Google ADK. And you can see that it is branded, it is personalized, and it is completely within my environment, right? So here, as an example, I have created this deep research agent. And if I click on this, now I'm able to chat with my agent, which in the backend is built on Google ADK, and then it is starting to respond, right? I can interact with it, and I can start asking questions and all of those things that you would want to do with an agent. But then here, this is an agent which is deployed in production, but you are calling that agent from your interface. Now, in again, in scenarios, your website or your app will not just be limited to one agent. You can actually have multiple agents running together in the same application. So this is where you, you, if I had more agents here, I could easily go ahead and add those agents as well. And then now this one custom UI is able to call all of these different agents, right? So in this video, I'm gonna take you through step by step on number one, how do you create a very quick agent using Google Agent Development Kit? We will use the Google Agent Starter Pack in order to do that. And then we will go ahead and deploy that agent in Google Cloud Run. Once we have done that, then we will go into Google AI Studio and create a beautiful UI like this. And then finally, we will connect that UI to this particular agent, okay? So please stay tuned, it's going to be fun. Let's just dive in. All right, so here is what we are gonna do in the next few minutes. Number one, we are gonna install the Agent Starter Pack via Cloud Shell. This is a fast way to implement Agent Development Kit. You could think of this as a complete package when you want to deploy your agents in production with tracing, observability, CI/CD pipelines, and also a plan for deploying your custom UI. That is where you have also have Docker files and stuff like that. ASP or Agent Starter Pack is a really good one when you want to work with ADK agents in production, okay? So we'll use that as step one and I'll run all of these commands with you, but I'm just letting you on the different steps. Step two would be for you to create the agent. So once you've installed ASP, then you will use the command from ASP to create the agent. Then you will install dependencies using the make deploy command. Then you will once, once you're done with that, your agent is basically ready to be deployed in Cloud Run. So at this point in time, we will actually go ahead and test the agent, right? So it will be a simple agent, which we can go ahead and test. Once we're done with the testing, then we will go ahead and deploy this in Cloud Run. So once we have deployed in Cloud Run, then basically you have your agent has now got a public URL. Your agent is running as a backend API with the public URL. So now from this point, you, your agent should be able to communicate with the outside world, which is via UI, okay? So we're making it ready for custom UI. Then the next step will be for us to change and play a little bit with the authentication, right? So generally by default, Cloud Run will create a required authentication. For the purposes of this demo and in general also, you might want to think of how your agent needs to behave or respond to the outside world, right? So in this case, because I want to create a public agent that can be used by any URL, I'm going to change the authentication to allow public access. And then I'm going to add certain keys so that it is becoming crystal clear to the backend and to the agent on, on how we are deploying it. So you can see all of these variables that I'm going to pass as secrets. And then I'm going to test the agent again on the on Cloud Shell before I'm going to ask uh, before actually creating the UI, right? So this is, and then I'm going to test the agent once again. Now, this time I'm testing the agent, which is already deployed on Cloud Run, right? Once I'm satisfied with my results, then and only then I'm going to build the UI, and then I'm going to pass the JSON payload from the UI to the agent. So these are 
the nine steps that we are going to follow in order to create an agent and then create a UI using AI Studio. So I'm going to do a lot of this using no code slash low code and then point that UI to this particular agent. Okay. So with this, let's get into Cloud Shell. All right. First things first, you will come to Google Cloud Console and make sure you are in the right project, which is billing enabled. And then once you're in the project, you can hit this particular button, which actually brings you inside this particular cloud shell, right? So the first thing that we will do is we will actually install agent starter pack. So this is the command for that, which is pretty straightforward. And then you hit this and it basically downloads everything and installs the agent starter pack for you. So I already have it. That's why it was super fast. But if you don't have it, then it, it would install all the dependencies and stuff like that. Now, once you're done with this, then agent starter pack provides you a very simple way to create create agent. So you can just type agent starter pack and just say create my new agent and then just say December and that's it, right? That is the command. So now what it is doing is it is going to now ask you a bunch of questions and this is why I love this. It is a packet solution where you are able to create an agent of your choice really using a UI, right? So it asks you a certain level of questions where it is saying, hey, do you want to create an ADK, like a base agent? Or do you want to create a agent with A to A protocol as well? Do you want to create a live agent which has the multimodal capabilities? Do you want to create a rag based agent? Do you want to create a land graph based agent? It is not restricting you to only use the Google ecosystem. You can use it to also leverage other ecosystems as well. And then the last piece which they have added recently is you can also kind of browse the agents from the ADK sample repository and then easily clone that via via ASP, which is Agent Starter Pack. So in this case, I'm just going to click on one because I just want the base one. And then it asks you, hey, like, where do you want to deploy this? This is where the production mentality is coming full blown because you now we're already thinking one step ahead on where we want to deploy it. So I want to deploy it in Cloud Run. And then it is also asking what is the deployment target type? So what is how you're going to manage the memory? So I'm just going to select in memory. And then this one is also around the CI CD runner, right? So that in a full scale deployment, you might also need to think of, do you want a CI CD pipeline? Do you want like a dot, like a Terraform file? So all of those, if you are deploying something in production at scale, for the moment, I'm just going to skip it. I just want to press three and then it asks me the region, right? So I'm just going to say US Central 1 and it's confirming everything is there. And it's also checking if Vertex AI is enabled on this particular project, right? So if it is not enabled, then it's not going to run. So at this point, it should have already created a new agent. You can see right here, this is exactly what has what it has created. It already has a bunch of lines of code, which bunch of repository, four folders in the repository, which already has the, the agent structure, which is pretty cool, right? Very quickly with just certain commands, we were able to create this. And then you can go ahead and in, get inside the agent. So let me just come back here. So these are all the agents which I have. So I'm just going to go into my new agent December and then now I'm going to install all the dependencies. So that is where you give the command as make install. So this will install all the dependencies which are required for this particular agent to run well. So it has done a great job very quickly. It has already deployed in the dependencies. Now, at this point, we could go ahead and deploy it in Cloud Run. So if I go to Cloud Run, So these are all the agents that are deployed. You can see that I do not have like anything deployed right now. The last one which I did was one hour ago. So I don't have an agent deployed. But what I can also do is I can basically go ahead and just test it out here. So that's where if I if I run this particular command, which is make playground, what it would do is it would open up a ADK web port, which is an internal web development UI where you are able to check all of these things, right? So it's going to open that port for me. And here you go, you can see the port over here. So we'll select this particular agent, which is app. And once I run this, hi, it's going to, it's going to call the agent, which is coming from here. So you can see that it has made that particular call and you can see already that and th there you go. So this is the agent, which we deployed just now in, in front of you. Okay. So it has made that call over here and you can see I can ask a particular question and it is going to respond, right? So right now we have, we were able to create an agent and actually start testing it very quickly within a matter of like minutes via agent starter pack, right? So let's just look one more time, you know, what is, what is in our agents folder, right? So this is the folder that it has created. 
And if I go to agent.py, right, this is the basic bare minimum structure that that you are seeing, right? So it has got a defined by the function, it has got a get get current time function, and this is basically the root agent, right? And it is using the Gemini 3 model. It is saying you are a helpful AI system designed to provide accurate and useful information. Maybe I can just say that, you know, greet the user by saying that your name is Surya's AI agent. So let's just make sure, you know, we, we add this and then we can just go back and, and run run this again, right? So I want to make sure we are we are changing something so that we can identify this this particular agent. So here you go. And now if I select this and if I say hi, you know, it should it should it should be greeting with with my name, right? So hey, this is my name is Surya say agent. I'm a helpful assistant or whatever, right? So we now know that this this agent is working just fine. So the next step would be for us to now use, you know, agent startup pack in order for us to deploy. The deploy command is pretty straightforward. So you just type make deploy and it will go ahead and deploy this in Google Cloud Run, which which is over here. So once once it deploys, you know, we will see it live reflecting over here. So it will start doing this as soon as it is able to deploy. So we'll give it, you know, a, a minute or two so that it can it can deploy and then we'll come back and show you right from here, you know, what it has done. All right, so it has deployed this and let's see, let's go back to Cloud Run, refresh it and see if I can see the agent. So there you go. So just deployed one minute back. And if I click on that, this is the agent for us. Let me just minimize this. And this is the agent running up and running live. The few things that we should be doing now, right? As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I want the authentication to be publicly available. So I'm just going to give that and that is going to update this. And so I just want to make sure we do that. Now, our agent is running fine. If need be, we can also go and go ahead and change some of the variables. So here you have the variable and secrets column. This is where you will add some of the additional variables. So for example, you can add allow origins as a variable. So this is the one which is very important for, for you to do this from a for, to avoid course, right? Course error. So this is a cross origin one which helps you to avoid cross error, course error. And then I'm going to, just to be safe, I'm going to provide some additional information, which is the project name is this, and the location is sent US Central. So you guys have to change this based on your own set and your own project name, etc. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to, again, redeploy this. So it's just going to happen in a few seconds. So this is going to be the next version, right? So once we are done with this, it is basically ready with a public URL, which is equal to this and available for an external UI to connect because you've also made sure that the authentication is public and should be able to, it should be able to run there, right? So now if I go back here, this is my agent, which is running live. You can see that it is healthy and serving traffic, 100% traffic. So now we're in a good position to go ahead and test this out. All right, so now we have our agent running. If I click on, this is the link of the agent. Now what I'm going to go, I will go to AI Studio and basically write a prompt and create a UI and give it an instruction to point to this particular agent, okay? All right, so now I am in my AI Studio and I'm going to give it a prompt like this where I'm saying build a modern dark mode chat app using React and you don't even have to mention that, but the main thing that we need to mention is the base is this particular URL, which is which comes from here, right? So you're going to take this particular URL. And then what you want to make sure is when we are sending the JSON, right? Like it needs to send the user ID, the session ID, and the message which will come from the app, right? So that is a key one. So once I click on this, you know, it's going to quickly go ahead and build this. And you'll be able to see a potential UI over here. And then we will start to interact with it and see how it is able to provide a response back. The idea is we are trying to have opened up the URL there, right? We have deployed the URL in Cloud Run. And now we are building a UI here. And with the variables, we've also taken care of the course issue. Now this particular, I should be able to connect to this particular backend ADK agent, which is already live. And we tested it out using the web development UI there. The functionality is fine. And the real test would be once we say hi or something of that sort, it should respond with, hi, I'm Surya's AI agent. So that means that particular agent is working fine. So we'll give it a second. We'll give it a few seconds and 
will once it is done will come back and run with it all right so it has done its job and you can see that this is the same agent so let me just full screen it this is the agent my my new agent december which you can see over here this is the same agent over here right so what we're going to do is we're just going to type hi and what it should do is it should now exactly call my agent that we had created so my name is surya AI agent and i'm a helpful ai assistant so if you go back here and open the editor this is you know exactly what it is saying so greet the user by saying this and you're a helpful assistant which which provides accurate and useful information the first question it is asking is like give me the name of the the location and you should be able to see this so there you go this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys we created an agent using agent starter pack we created an adk agent we deployed it in cloud run we created a ui using white coding in google ai studio and we were able to connect that directly here what i did was i actually i have my agent garden as you're seeing here so here i was also able to deploy the same agent over here right so i would go ahead and click on this then come back here and give this and i'm going to say that live demo and there you go so i'm going to deploy this and it's right here and it should be able to should be able to talk and respond back there you go so th that's the idea once you have these kind of agents built you can have an agent garden or you can have like multiple agents working together in your own environment so that is what i wanted to discuss with you guys today I hope you found value in this video. As always, if you have any questions, please do ask me in the comment section. And if you like the video, please hit that like button and do subscribe. Thank you once again for watching. Thank you once again for your time. I will see you in the next one.